Hi second graders, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how to use value in your drawings. You just got done listening to the book, This Book is Gray, and you heard about how the color gray wanted to create his own story using only pictures in the color gray. So you're going to create your own picture today using one color of your choosing. I'm choosing to use blue. So in my picture, I'm going to focus on things that are blue. Okay. Now what makes this drawing challenging is that I don't want everything to blend all together. I don't just want to have a blue sheet of paper when I'm done. I want to be able to tell the objects apart from the background. So the way I'm going to do that is by using value. Some of my blues are going to be dark. Some of my blues are going to be light. And the way that you get the difference in your blues or whatever color you're using is by uh, changing the pressure that you use on your crayon. So when you push really hard on your crayon, like I am here, you get a nice dark color. I'm going to draw a blue whale. There's his blue whale tail and his blue whale eye. And there's the blowhole. Okay. Whoops. I forgot a side fin. There we go. That's how he gets around. Now, when I color this in, I'm not going to press as hard with my crayon or it's all going to be the same color blue. I'm going to press a little bit lighter and I'm going to get a lighter blue, which we call a tint. Okay. So when I color in, I'm not pressing very hard on my crayon at all. And that way, when I color over some of my details, like my whale's eye and his his flipper over here, I'm not covering those up. Now, we all know that for a really high quality picture, you don't just want to have the one object, you want to include some other details. So I'm going to add a little bit of background to my whale drawing here. There we go, all the way to the end of his tail. I might draw some waves up on top to show the top of the water. I might draw some smaller fish. And I'm going to color these in darker just to make them a little bit different from my whale. Maybe it's a small school of fish. Just swimming along. And then I'm going to draw the bottom of the ocean. And that's going to be super light blue. And then add uh, some details here and make it a bit more interesting. I might draw some rocks or some seaweed. And in order for those not to blend into the sand, I'm going to change the pressure on my crayon again. And I might make my rocks a bit darker. So I'm going to press harder. Oops. Don't break your crayon. Little broken crayon still color. My seaweed is going to be a nice dark shade. Remember, shade is a dark color. And that's how you're going to create your picture using just one crayon. Okay? Remember, when you're done with your pictures, you can either share them on our Art Room Facebook page or you can email them to me directly and I'm going to have those links for you guys on the next slide. Okay, have fun drawing and I will see you again soon. Bye.